Hello and welcome to Zippo. Esther Pasari is one woman who never shies away from controversy. May it be her choice of dressing or otherwise, she always leaves people talking, sometimes in harsh tones. And that's exactly what happened recently during a morning show where panelists were discussing a controversial ruling by a Kenyan court on safe abortion regulations. The Nairobi women representative said in the ensuing debate that she made the decision to protect her daughter when she realized her friends were sexually active. Her friends are already having sex. I had it at a later age. My mother didn't know about it and at the end of the day, I felt that it was important to take my daughter to the gyna, she said. According to Pasaris, she directed the doctor to put her daughter on the pill immediately. She was 16 at the time, meaning she was around from 2 if she went through the normal schooling system, which I doubt she did. The politician went on to add that she did it, not because she wanted her daughter to engage in sexual activities, but to ensure that she did not get pregnant at an early age. Which makes me wonder, what about the dangers of picking worse things like, say, HIV, which pills cannot prevent? Does it mean that pregnancy is the biggest thing parents should worry about if their underage daughters are sleeping around? There is also the age-old debate about when exactly is the best time for parents to get their children in sex education. Is 16 really okay? The women repeat the headlines recently after Nairobi governor Mike Sonko leaked a phone conversation between the two. The audio was recorded during the 2017 campaigns. In it, Pasaris can be heard borrowing the county head 500,000 Kenya shillings, and when he agreed to it, she promised to love him even more. Sonko accused Pasaris of wanting to sleep with him at the Intercontinental Hotel. <laughs>